Hey y'all, today I'm going to be doing a haul of what I got at the two cons that I went to over the weekend. The, fir the first was in Chicago and it was called C2E2 and it was a new experience for all of us because we've never been to a con of that size. It was very big and my socially awkward, social anxiety self did not do real well in the crowd, but it was worth it, I think. So what I got at that con, we'll start with this, is I got this cute little hoodie that says game over on it. And on the sleeve, it has some cool little designs as well. <clears throat> I also got a matching sticker because I bought the hoodie. I got some cute oven mitts that have cool little like uwu gamer girl designs on them and they're the same they match. Another reason why we, we all went is because a lot of the cast of Avatar was there so like Dante Bosco, um, Zach, um, the guy who plays Aang, I can't, I can't remember his last name to save my life. Jack DeSena and then Mae Whitman was supposed to be there as well but she ended up having to cancel at the last minute due to the weather and I don't blame her. We drove through like three tornado wreckages on the way up there so don't blame her one bit. <clears throat> but I got an autograph from Jack DeSena and it says Amber drink cactus juice. It's the quenchiest. Because I saw this and went, I want that print and can you write drink cactus juice on it? And before I had even gotten the full sentence out of my mouth, he was like, I'm on it. <laughs> he was already starting to write it as I was requesting him to write drink cactus juice. Oh, it was great. It was a good experience. We also got a um, photo op done with the three of them. That was really fun. I won't show it to you because it has my other friends in it and I don't think they want to be on the internet. So I'm going to respect their privacy. We also got a photo op done with, with four of the Buffy cast members, which I wasn't exactly excited for because um, I, I didn't really watch Buffy as a child. So I wasn't like, oh yeah, we got to get pictures with the Buffy cast. Um, but I did it because it was cheaper for them if four of us were in it. So I decided to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Again, won't show you that picture either because my other friends are in it and I don't think they want to be on the internet, at least in that way. Hi, editing Amber here. So I realized I forgot some things from C2E2 and I got these cool little like, like hard, prints from one of the vendors and I got like this lo-fi Kiki's delivery service one and then I got this one that says ramen on it and then I got one that says kawaii on it with cute little gamer girl doing her gamer girl stuff And then I got one that says anime and chill on it. Now the second con I went to this weekend was in Cape Girardeau and it was called Cape Anime, which I did not go to last year, but I went to, but I got the chance to go this year. So I did. So this is what I got there. One thing I got, I'm going to start, I'm going to start with it because it's the loudest. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. She's going to go on my bed with my other plushies because I love her so much. Look at her. She is just so cute. I love her. And the next thing I got <clears throat> some of the vendors had food and stuff. 
So me and my, the friend of mine who went with me to the con, we each got some little treats and things. So I got some sweet rolls. Two have red bean paste in them and two are sweet potato, purple sweet potato flavored, which I enjoy personally. From that same booth, I got a couple of little figures. I got a little Daz Eye, a little Daz Eye, a little Octagawa, who I think is supposed to be a pilot, but it's Octagawa. And then I got a little Asushi as well. And they all come with stands that look like this, but they've fallen out of the stands in the bag, so I'm not going to worry about that. At another booth, I got a mystery anime bag and <clears throat> a mystery like print set. Now, I gave my the Hunter Hunter prints to the friend who was with me because she really likes Hunter Hunter and I've quite frankly I've never seen Hunter Hunter so I didn't I didn't have a reason to keep it so I gave that to her. But in the mystery print bag I got a little Nishinoya print, which I already have one of, so I'm probably going to give this to a friend. And then I also got got two Dekus, this Deku and then a Deku where he kind of looks a little, a little derpy in a way. And my friend liked that one, so I gave that to her because I didn't need two Deku prints. And then in the mystery bag, I got a print, and I think this is from—I think this is from the show Amphibia. I could be wrong, but I think that's what this is from. I think I've only seen maybe one episode of Amphibia, so I'm not quite sure. Please enlighten me in the comments. <clears throat> and then also in the mystery bag, I got. Where did that go? Where's a? There it is. I also got this, which is really cute. It's Pokemon, but they're Animal Crossing villagers. I mean, I mean, that's so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put any of these, but it's adorable. And then the mystery bag, I also got a sticker. I got Uraraka doing her Uraraka thing, like the queen she is. I got this Jigglypuff pen which let me take it out of the thing and show you just how cool this pin is. It hangs down and there's a little present. I actually really wanted this pin, so I'm really glad that I got it in my mystery bag. <clears throat> and then I got this cute little Kyo and Toru having their first kiss right before she breaks the curse. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. Look at it, it's so cute. And then we also had in the mystery box, I got a little Saro keychain, being his Saro self with his little tape. And then I got this Denki pen. And those two will probably go on my My Hero Academia Eda bag. Now, she also had like a little like gotcha machine where you pay $5 and you would get a free pen basically. So I got three characters from Haikyuu. There they are. None of which was Nishinoya, but I'll, I'll live. I got the other loud boy, so I'll live. I'll live and it will be okay. Now the next thing I got is a tumbler because if you know me, you know I don't have enough cups in my life. But I got this one. It's a little Kigurumi. It's just her. And then it's got some little designs on it. It says Kigurumi and I'm real excited about this. And then 
I got this picture. It's Gigi and it says, if you wake up in the morning and find a white cat, it's me. And that's one of my favorite lines from Kiki's Delivery Service. Now the next things that I got are some t-shirts. And I got this one. I don't really wear yellow, but this shirt is just too cute and I couldn't pass it up. It's a little Pikachu, but he's dressed up like Totoro. It's just too cute. Oh my God, I'm dying. Oh, it's so cute. One of the other shirts that I got is this one. And as you can see, it has Homura on it from Madoka Magica. And I'll, zoom. Oh, I'll show you a little bit closer so you can see it better. But yeah, apparently the reason why he started selling these shirts is because one of the people who used to work for him came up with the design and thought it would be a good idea. So then they started making them. But since they no longer work for him, he's has issues explaining to people, you know, what, who that is and what she's from. And they're like, oh, I've never heard of her. And it's like, Homura is literally the secondary main character of the entire show. How do they not know who Homura is? Stop. Sorry, my cat's sniffing things and she's gonna knock them over. The next shirt that I got will come as no surprise, no surprise whatsoever if you've been here for any length of time, is a Weiss shirt. It was the reason why I actually started buying shirts, to be honest with you. And I was like, it's Weiss. And I was like, what size of the Weiss do you have left? And he was like, oh, a variety of them. So then I looked and he had my size, so I had to buy it because of course I did. Now, the main reason why I went today when I don't usually like doing two cons in a weekend, and I've never done two cons in a weekend, but I did this time, was to get Morgan Berry's autograph because she played Moruha in Yashihime. And apparently this was one of her, this was her favorite role to do because Moruha is such, she's, she's feral and <laughs> she knows it. And it's just great. She's probably my favorite out of the three um, demon, half demon princesses, or really quarter demon princess is what she is. But yeah. And last but not least, probably my favorite thing from the haul from today. I got the Yang Good Smiles figure. I'm super excited about it. And that was my haul from this weekend from C2E2 in Chicago and from Cape Anime in Cape Girardeau. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments. Tell me what was your favorite thing that I got this weekend. And don't forget to share this video with your friends if it's something they might be interested in or just because you want to. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.